Well guys, in this video we will go over what the CEO of AMC said, what are uh, the plans in place for the future of the company. Uh, they were able to raise 917 million dollars, how he was able to close that deal and what is the future of the company. Let's dive in. How did you get this latest deal done and how long is it really going to last? Well, you know what Mark Twain said, the rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that AMC is based in Kansas City and our Chiefs were victorious last night heading to the Super Bowl. But the Chiefs weren't the only outfit in Kansas City that was a huge winner this weekend. AMC raised $917 million, as you said. That's a tremendous amount uh, of increase to our cash reserves. That means that uh, we're going to make it through this dark coronavirus winter. All talk of bankruptcy is off the table for now. Uh, we're very optimistic, encouraged, and enthusiastic as we look ahead. So what does the capital structure of your business look like when this is all said and done? The percentages, for instance, of Silver Lake and Wanda, what happened to them? Well, um, uh, Wanda is still our largest shareholder, but their holdings are now less than 20% of our total shareholder base. Uh, Silver Lake uh, was a debt investor in AMC, uh, not an equity investor. Silver Lake has about $600 million of our, uh, in our debt, on our, in our debt position. Uh, Wanda still has board seats. Silver Lake still has a board seat. Uh, but you know, we're just at this point, we're now a big, the most important guys, as we can see that the CEO, it's a uh, very, uh, open-minded he's definitely looking forward for the company uh, he sees that uh, there will be no issues in terms of the financing of the company and he definitely uh, expect soon uh, they will reopen all the cinemas all the theaters uh, they expect to fill the gaps in the revenues public company with a diverse shareholder base and creditor base uh, uh, but more important than that we're a company that has a lot of cash in the bank and that bodes very well for us uh, to survive through this crisis. Adam, uh, certainly a lot of cash in the bank, uh, you know, relative to, to, to where it was. And as you said, it should be enough to get you through to the summertime. Also, of course, a lot of debt on the balance sheet. Uh, when is it realistic for you to, to hope to pay some of that down and, and see the equity value uh, recover accordingly? Well, thanks for the question, Wolf. You know, I think we've proven over the last nine months uh, that we're uh, smart financial engineers here at AMC. We've raised money five times since April of 2020. <clears throat> We've gotten enormous support from our landlord community to whom we're very grateful. We got that support in 2020. We're counting on more landlord support in 2021. Uh, I do believe we'll put those skills to work even this year uh, we were able in July of last year, for example, to wipe out $555 million of debt through a fairly sophisticated debt exchange. Uh, I would expect that similarly in 2021, uh, we'll look to debt exchange options, possibly debt for equity options. Uh, our, we, we do need to uh, write the capital structure of this business. It's clearly one of the action items on our list. The first one, though, of course, was get the liquidity. We need to survive this winter, which uh, we can put a check in that box. OK, definitely uh, optimistic about the future. I'm a, a MC shareholder, so I'm quite excited uh, hearing that they definitely look forward. Uh, the most important, they are seeing support from the landlords for the locations that they're running. Obviously, they're looking to raise more capital uh, because they want to increase the liquidity in terms of if they have some uh, unexpected expense to be covered, if they have to fill up some of the revenue gaps that they probably will gonna miss the goals of the revenue. So uh, definitely it's very, very important to see that they have a plan in place. Uh, if this happened, they're gonna do this. If this happened, they're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, I think uh, they will be a bright future for the company. Maybe uh, they eat there is a possibility for a future restructure, in my opinion, because we well, all know some of the locations of the theaters or cinemas will outperform the other ones. And if they have to restructure the, the company, they have to select the winners and the losers. 
but definitely I'm optimistic I am investor as I mentioned earlier in AMC so I definitely look forward for the recovery of the company